I think it's time we take this thing on its maiden voyage. I'm thinking this little dresser will work just in the meantime for holding my clothes and then maybe even a little desk while I'm sitting in the seat. I don't know, we'll see. It's heavy. Oh, this is how people die. Right? I mean, that'll work. A little, a little desk area, a little clothes action. These are definitely gonna be annoying though when I'm operating. All right, it's time to get moving. Probably the worst thing about this van is that it does not have any AC. It has these. And that's about as good as you get. It's a window. <laughs> All right. Bye, CRV. I absolutely love this new van, but it is a little bit sad to be selling a CRV and uh, not be taking on adventures and that kind of stuff anymore. I need this. A road snack because I've been running all morning and have not had time to make food. How did I fit all this stuff in the CRV? I do not understand. It goes to show how important actual storage is. <laughs> Despite what it may look like, this thing actually gets amazing gas mileage. It's like 22 to the gallon on the highway right now, which is crazy. All right, here we go. Finally to the trail. Man, even with all the cool places I've been over the last year, this is still Probably one of my favorites, if not my favorite. I just, I love this place. Oh yeah. <laughs> It did take a little bit longer than I wanted to get here. It was kind of a long morning. It's 5 p.m. right now, and the sun sets at 5.30. But as long as I get to the beach before sunset, I'll be happy, but I'm not sure if that's gonna happen. Throw her on into four-wheel drive real quick, and beach camping, here we come. It is 5.30 now and I am just making it to the beach and it looks like I might be the only one out here, which is pretty awesome. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> All right, time for the thumbnail. Amazing way to break in the new van. Van's over there, an awesome sunset on the beach, and I'm literally the only one here. This is so sick. Funny enough, the only other car that I saw was another van again, which is crazy because I've never seen one over here, and they were headed out, so I am the last one here. This is so crazy. <laughs> it's time to get back to the van and find camp for the night. Shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> and look at how sweet that thing looks, just chilling on the beach. See if we can't get some light in here. Boom! Magnets, baby. Look at that. I actually put that over there. I mean, I know it's a little weird to say, obviously, but coming from a CRV, having like my own little space like this, that I can actually sit down, relax, you know, edit, eat, all that kind of stuff, is uh, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty good upgrade. Yeah, really, uh, ups the quality of living, I guess, which is a little bit of a weird thing to say for living in a car or a vehicle or a van, but it is what it is, it is what it is. And also, if you haven't put it together yet, this is all temporary. Like, this isn't gonna stay like this, obviously. I'm not gonna have plastic drawers and just bins on the ground. <laughs> I will hopefully be doing a full build out of everything, you know, whole cabinets and kitchen and sink, all that kind of jazz. And whenever that's done, it'll be really sweet in here. I'll be really happy with this thing. Um, 
but I need to wait for the CRV to sell first. Once it sells, I don't have to worry about it and I have the extra cash to invest into everything because it's a little bit expensive to build out the, the interior of a car like this or a van like this. But again, that's why this thing is perfect because all the exterior and mechanical stuff was done. That's all the really expensive stuff. And then I'm left with making this all mine and customized and not brown. I'll tell you that, it won't be brown. <laughs> A little bit of work to end off the night and then I'm going to bed and hopefully wake up to a fantastic morning view. All right, I haven't done this yet, so we'll see how it goes, but this whole platform folds into a bed. That was like a standard feature of the van again. I know it. Ugh. Hold this guy flat. Look at that. And then take my little foam mattress out. Boom. Just like that. We are ready for bed. And it's just so awesome having so much more room than the CRV. Like I can actually sit down like this and relax and not just be cramped in either laying down in a strict position or sitting in the driver's seat the entire time. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> All right, I'd say it was a pretty successful first night in the new build and new van. This thing really is awesome. I mean, having all this space and being able just to wake up on the beach and open the door, it's just, I don't know. This is pretty freaking sweet. And I cannot wait for the adventures I'm gonna have in this thing, but for now, it is pouring down rain and it gets a little bit sketchy to get out of here whenever it's raining. So I'm gonna be on the road as soon as possible. Oh, water, <laughs> water got everywhere. Are you kidding me? What is that? Ridiculous, if you ask me. Absolutely absurd. <laughs>